All right, boys, what's good? Uh, today, do an unboxing and review the Glorious Model O. Got it in matte white. You can see there, matte white, 67 grams. Just a little disclaimer I have already opened this and I've been using it for like two weeks, week and a half, two weeks. Um, so, yeah, I, this isn't like I didn't just get it, but I basically did. Um, I didn't want to do a review on it as soon as I got it just because, you know. It's not really thorough, but yeah, here's what the box looks like. Let's see, ascend PCGamingRace.com. Extreme lightweight gaming mouse, ascend core, G skates, mouse feet, and yeah. Um, here's what the back looks like. You can pause and read that if you want. Same with that. Um, so yeah, you can see all the dimensions. And <clears throat> dimensions and stuff um so yeah it just lifts up like that get the mouse uh the cables that will obviously be better than this but i just it's the best i could do but this is basically how it's gonna come yeah it says ascended and stuff and uh yeah it says ascended on the other side the mouse just comes out as does the cable with it you have this, you can just take it off. Yeah, I just kept all this in here. I just keep it in there just because you shouldn't just throw it away randomly, you know? And yeah. So, here's the actual mouse itself. Uh, the cable is actually really long. It's super light. Not just the mouse, the cable. That's why it's called the Ascended. Well, that's why it's called the Ascended Cable, but... It is there, send a kill. Um, but yeah, the black, you know, it doesn't look bad, but I wish, I mean, I guess it, it matches all the other black parts, but the cable was white too, that'd be kind of dope, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, I got the matte white, I think it looks the best. But yeah, uh, I didn't get the minus, it's just the normal one, just because I got big meaty hands, I'm like 6'4", <clears throat> so I don't need the minus. Um, so yeah, here it is. Yeah, there it is. Um, we'll click, click this. Not a whole lot of creaking. It feels pretty, for all these holes to be here, it actually feels pretty sturdy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is the mouse ambidextrous shape. No side buttons on the right, but that is all right. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's basically just a clone of this Zowie Mouse FK1 or 2. I don't re I don't remember which one. Zowie Mice, Zowie Mice are just... The names are very confusing. I don't really get it. I'm not really a Zowie guy, but... They're just copy GSRC mouse pad. That's why I haven't, been, haven't made a setup video yet. Still waiting on that to come in. I actually just bought it. It'll be here in like two days, so yeah. So there's the mouse. So yeah, I'll go ahead, plug it in, and uh yeah, show you the RGB, talk about more shape and stuff, and my experiences with it. Alright boys, so here's what the mouse looks like with all the RGB on. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely out there. You know, especially with the white, it makes the RGB pop more. Uh, I think it looks good though. Matches my keyboard, and uh, you know, white keyboard, white mouse, RGB. It looks pretty good. Um, I do have a black mouse pad, but it's whatever. Um, but yeah, so talk about my experience with this mouse. Honestly, it's really good. It's better than my old mouse, the Logitech G43. If you want to see a review on that? Go check it out. Um, link will be in the description. This mouse at fifty dollars, like kind of a steal like there's really no mouse better out there for fifty dollars um let's be honest like you're not gonna you're not gonna find anything as high quality and as good performing as this mouse is the shape is really good all the buttons are really nice the scroll wheel the scroll wheel is all right it doesn't feel the greatest but you get used to it uh there's, there's I definitely had worse um side buttons for mo i think for like most people they'd be fine but me personally, I got fat thumbs, you know what I'm saying? So they're a little small. So yeah, my old mouse, uh, I had, I took the weights and the actual cover off. So 
it was 88 grams this is 67 so over 20 grams lighter and yes I definitely can feel it this mouse is, is way like it feels it feels like nothing's there honestly and my, my mouse pad I've, I have is really old I've had it for well over a year it's like gotten so slow and then I know it has because uh, a few days ago I flipped it over and like this part which I've never used my mouse on obviously is so much like faster and like it's basically yeah it just feels like like a fast pad compared to this side yeah, but these mouse feet like it made it feel like it's so good like this mouse pad is so old and it's dirty I haven't I need to clean it but it's it still glides like pretty good to most people this isn't probably wouldn't doesn't look that good but compared to all that my other mice like they they was horrible man but this thing feels so much smoother and once I get my GSRC brass over with bro like yeah but these mouse feet are really nice I mean they're basically just hyperglides um they're street, they're called G skates um but yeah uh that's pretty much it I mean the mouse is really good really affordable uh great build quality performs good I think the shape anybody can fit uh you know they've got the minus so if you need a small hand because this is a pretty big mouse in the normal version i got big hands and it fits my hand like pretty much perfectly um so yeah that's pretty much it for the review thanks for watching no oh. i get those goosebumps every time i need the hype throw that to the side oh. I get those goosebumps every time